40. Let's get over to Ashley Nanfrey now with your first alert action day. Ashley, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, an action day as we head closer to the afternoon and evening. That's the main time frame we're focusing on through today as that's really when we're going to start to see things picking up just a bit more activity wise. We're expecting widespread valley rain today, heavy Sierra snow, and that could cause some issues for travelers trying to get over the passes. As we time out our storm system right now, it's sitting right off the coast, but as we head through the day today, it will start to move more moisture inland. You can see that large area of low pressure, nice tap into the tropical moisture there, and even pulling in some colder air with it. As we look at future casts with this, it will really start to pick up through this afternoon. However, our first round of showers arriving through this morning. By about 8 to 9 o'clock, we'll start to get our first rounds of showers across the region, starting off light at first. However, activity starting to pick up along the coast. As that cold front moves in later on this afternoon, that's really when we're expecting our more widespread moderate to heavy rounds of rain throughout the valley floor. As you get closer to the Sierra, things starting to pick up through this afternoon and evening with snow levels dropping to about 4,000 feet in elevation. Snowfall rates could be up to one inch of snow an hour, so lots coming down all at once. We'll stay active through tonight, heading into early tomorrow, still holding on to heavy snow across the Sierra and yes, scattered rain showers throughout the valley. As we get further into the afternoon tomorrow, we'll keep the activity around. However, starting to break up just a bit more with peaks of sunshine that we do get through the afternoon. We could see some isolated thunderstorms heading into tomorrow, but overall just an unsettled start to the weekend. As the front moves in today, gusty winds will start to pick up across the valley. We are expecting gusts upwards about 40 to 45 miles per hour from about Yolo County down towards the Central Valley and even into portions of the foothills and Sierra. We'll continue to keep the wind around through this evening, even heading into early tomorrow with those stronger gusts expected. We'll uh, hold on to the wind starting to ease up a bit more through tomorrow afternoon. But as far as rain goes, we are expecting another half an inch to an inch across our lower elevations from the coastline through the valley up towards the foothills and Sierra amounts to a trend a little bit higher upwards about one to two inches of moisture on the way over the next couple of days. Temperatures out there today going to be on the cooler side for all of us and yes, cooler than average this time of the year as well. Temperatures for most back into the 50s through the valley as you get closer to the foothills and Sierra 30s from Truckee to South Lake Tahoe 40s from Grass Valley down towards Placerville and 50s as you get closer to the valley floor. The Central Valley also back into the mid to upper 50s today and also holding on to the rain through the afternoon starting off even more unsettled for the Bay Area and Delta early this morning and then things really picking up into the afternoon highs for us in the 50s. We will stay unsettled over the next couple of days, especially across the foothills and Sierra heading into Sunday. We'll still hold on to a few lingering showers. However, things starting to lighten up throughout the afternoon. By the time we reach next week, we will be talking about a whole different weather pattern. Ridge of high pressure building in, bringing us a lot of sunshine and warming temperatures with highs getting back into the 70s. That's the check your forecast time now for